I vividly remember seeing a photograph released by the production company Foxstar Hindi that announced a horror comedy with Ali Fazal, Fatima Sana Sheikh and Saif Ali Khan titled Yes. You guessed it right, Bhoot Police. The horror comedy genre is one which has garnered a lot of financial success in India and looking at the talent involved, I was thoroughly excited to see what this interesting world would be like. Suddenly things went a bit hush in this department and with delays, production changes with Ramesh Turani's tips coming into the picture and the film being presented at a smaller scale, there was a change in the talent involved. Saif Ali Khan stayed with the project, but Ali Fazal and Fatima Sana Sheikh were replaced. While Ali Fazal had this to say, My dates didn't work out at the time, I remember. I was shooting Death on the Nile. Um, there was a delay. I think the production also changed in that meantime. Um, I got to know much later. But um, yeah, I mean, I suppose that's... Fatima Sana Sheikh went on to state that people make films and want it to be the best. They cast according to their liking and it's fine. Further going on to say that you can't be bitter about everything. Months passed by and we got the poster of the new and renewed Bhoot Police with Arjun Kapoor, Jacqueline Fernandez and Yami Gautam. This did not sit right with a lot of people as it was another case of opportunities being taken away from formidable talents. But that's the way the cookie crumbles in the industry, I guess. Do you guys have thoughts about this? Tell me in the comments below. Irrespective of the history and the context in which the film and its production and talent eventually shaped up, all of us saw the trailer of the film that released yesterday. This specific trailer of Bhoot Police came as a surprise for me as my expectations were extremely low when I had preconceived notions regarding the talent involved in it. I further realized that I should start with a fresh slate and judge for the product that is presented. Bhoot Police focuses on two desi ghostbusters who, with their tantric ways, half of which seems like just a front, help families and individuals in exorcisms, basically anyone dealing with demonic possessions. While Arjun Kapoor's character seems to be the one who is wholeheartedly carrying out this function, Saif Ali Khan presumably comes across as a man who only sees this as a monetary gain. When they come across Yami Gotham's character, the duo have to deal with possibly a paranormal being that they never envisioned to cross paths with, a kichkandi. The events that follow will probably be the crux of the storyline. What I found absolutely brilliant about the trailer was that it did not reveal strong plot points of the film as the duo explores the cases ahead. The trailer more or less presents the montage of moments that range from hysterical to scary and this leaves just enough for the audience to be curious about the unknown. There are many parallels that audiences wanted to create regarding Bhoot Police. While a lot of people put the comparisons with RIPD, it is definitely far off other than the fact that it has a feature of the undead formulating an essential part of the world. A lot of people created the comparison with Ghostbusters as well, the iconic Hollywood horror comedy. But that also seems like a stretch other than the fact that paranormal beings need to be captured and that there is a team involved in precisely doing so. I think the best comparison of at least the themes of Booth Police have to be from the 2002 James Gunn written film Scooby-Doo. From the wacky and iconic mystery machine in which the team travels and the bizarre but hilarious pitch is something that I think many people People can create more parallels from. The banter shared among the group of misfits and the encounters with paranormal beings will be reminiscent of the iconic live action film that released in 2002. What I will agree regarding the criticism that many people have with Bhoot Police is that it is essentially taking the themes from already successful horror comedy genres. When you look at films like Stree, Bhool Bulaya or even Ruhi, other than the setup of the world, the relationships and its characters, it always culminates into resolving the possession of a female male spirit that was wronged or treated badly. Be it the treatment of Stri, Avza or even Manjulika, the second half of these films usually provide context to what were the atrocities committed towards the spirit that makes them uneasy or restless. As Booth Police identifies a Kichkandi, you know where the film is headed. Famous in Nepalese folklore, it refers to a spirit of a woman that is latched on to an uncremated part of her body. Literally translating to a tormented spirit, these beings are said to be wandering the site of their untimely death. Characterized by pale complexion, long hair and a flail structure, these spirits are known to latch on to hitchhikers and travellers. I would love to know from the Nepali subscribers on the channel, especially in the comments below, of the stories that they have heard, as it has become very clear from my readings that the folklore of the Kichkandi has been discussed for generations in Nepal. Now let's just get to the cast of the film and listen, I'll be honest. 
it seems like Saif Ali Khan will have to do most of the heavy lifting in this film to really guarantee audiences an enjoyable carefree experience. The trailer presented few gags but I genuinely laughed at the dialogue delivery and moments in which Saif has the limelight. His casual nature of demanding the percentage of GST or dismissing the paranormal writings as embroidery ke design it really makes me feel as someone rightly pointed out in the comments of the community post that he'll have to give the performance of a lifetime for this to be truly hilarious. The curious case of Arjun Kapoor will continue but you have to admit that despite his limitations as an actor he did not come across as uncomfortable or jarring to the point where it completely takes away from the impact of the trailer now the actor is creating a reputation of hate just pouring in only because of association rather than judging him for his performance it reminds me of the vitriol a brilliant film like sandeep or pinky farrar was getting even before anyone watched it just because it had kapoor in it would another actor be a better pick for a film like bhoot police maybe would ali fazal have been hilarious to see in this role maybe but these are all hypotheticals and what ifs that there is honestly no point in discussing what i can say from the trailer is that the chemistry between saif and arjun and the overall packaging and theme of the film does promise to be a fun ride yami gautam is one of my favorite performers who is only getting the recognition she deserves now having a bunch of projects lined up it tells you a lot about the grind that outsiders have to put in as she made her debut in 2012 and 9 years later despite all the talent we are seeing her flourish now i hope she really has a meaty role in the film but the topic of jacqueline fernandez is a very interesting one for me see i'll get my compliments out of the way fernandez is probably the most fun individuals to see being interviewed comes across as an extremely lively and naturally funny individual and is a phenomenal dancer but let's not kid ourselves when we think about her acting capability most of her appearances in films have been lauded for her appearance rather than her acting talent barring probably only brothers and a gentleman I feel like there is a double standard that exists of the pass that we give extremely beautiful actresses while completely roasting actors for the same. Jacqueline has films lined up till 2023 and I can only hope that she challenges herself as a performer because after so many years and even the glimpse of Bhoot Police it just seems like a version of the roles we have already seen in her filmography. Saif Ali Khan in comedies and wacky characters is one of my favorites to see be it Go Go Are Gone or Kala Kandi just to see him in these eccentric out of the box world is an absolute ball. Don't get me wrong, sometimes he gets it completely wrong with comedy films. I mean, he did Tashin and Hum Shakals as well, so the man can go wrong, but this genuinely looks like fun and I don't think we should be so harsh just because of the talent associated with it. I was actually surprised on how the trailer came out. Yes, we can criticize it for checking out all the boxes the horror comedy genre is already popular for, but wouldn't it be a good change from all the intense dramas and thrillers we get to see on OTT platforms? And not to forget the god awful comedies like Hangama 2. Let's be hopeful. We need a laugh during these stressful times. And that was a video, guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the trailer. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at Jamie Pants Four. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.